things you do for fishing. I'm gonna try to drive down the road and park and come back. And I come around the corner and you're in the water. Oh, I hope I catch some good fish. Tarpon. Good fish, good fish. A snook feeding frenzy, it was insane. What is up everybody, this is John with Archer Fish. Thanks for tuning in. Um, got another great uh, fishing video for you. Hitting the same spots as we did in the last video where we caught some nice snook, tarpon, had a lot of good hits, big lady fish. Um, really exciting fishing over there. We're gonna be hitting that same spot today. Um, so I hope you like that video. If not, check it out. We also, the, the video before that, my dad catches his PB snook. It is a beast. You gotta see that video. And I caught a very nice redfish too, same day. So some giant fish. And if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Hit the notifications. I'm gonna be doing a lot of content now that I moved down to Florida. Uh, I've been fishing here my whole life, been coming down twice a year to fish. Plus I grew up in Gainesville. So now that I'm here, I'm gonna be fishing a lot more. You're gonna see a lot of saltwater content, a lot of freshwater content, lots of bass stuff. Um, we got a lot of trips planned because there's so much good fishing down here. So stay tuned if you like that sort of thing. You know, snook, redfish, trout, bass, you know, any sort of saltwater species. You know, stay tuned to this channel and follow along. Please comment. Shout out to all my peeps back in California, especially my Castaic brothers. Hope the bite is good right now and uh, make sure you release those stripers. <laughs> Yes, sir. So, I knew it was too good to be true to park here. I thought it was no parking. That's why we never fish this spot. And that's why no one else ever fishes this spot. Cop was super cool, as you see. I mean, super nice guy. And he was like, man, I hate to cut you off, but you know, anyway, I'm gonna try to drive down the road and park and come back. So hopefully I can get back here and the bite will still be good. I'm gonna walk back. Don't know how long it is. I think it's only a mile, so I gotta get on it now. So I have to run back to this place before it gets dark so I can actually fish for 20, 30 minutes. And then I gotta run back to get my car to pick up my dad and all the stuff. Boy, better be worth it. Better be worth it. All right, about halfway there. You can see the signs from here, I think. I'm trying to run a little bit and walk. Oh, I hope I catch some good fish. Things you do for fishing. Just make sure it's extra worth it today, fishing gods, huh? And shout out to the cop for the warning. Super nice guy. So happy. I really was unsure about the spot. We've never fished there because of the parking signs. I, we just fished there for like two nights in a row and never got bothered. So I was like, oh, maybe my dad was right. Just no fishing between the signs on the bridge. But no, you're not allowed to park island wide on the side of the road in all of Sanibel. So don't try it, people. Don't try it. All right, I'm going to sprint for a bit. Not the best running shoes. These are like boat shoes. It's a lot farther than it looks. A lot farther than it seems. I thought I was coming close to it. No. Maybe halfway there now. It's a good thing I work out. But I usually skip leg day and I'm regretting it. I don't know if it's legal, but I was hoping that cop would give me a ride. All right, I can see it in the distance finally. Way down there. So much for a day off of work too, by the way. Let's see if they have Ubers over here on the island. I'm gonna sleep really good tonight. I told you the one thing is not to fall in the water.
Yeah. Oh, my pliers. Fuck. Look, they're feeding like crazy over there. Little guy, but fun. All right, there's a ton of snook over here. Seems like they're feeding. So, see if I can catch some more. And even after I was pulling that snook up, they start hitting like crazy against this wall. But there is a big snag in there. And the current has switched sides. God, dog. Oh. You can tell the snook because they just thump it, one thump. Not like a snapper or a catfish that chomps it. Watch. They literally just move to the, oh, there's one. Yep. You know, the same thing that makes these such a great fish to catch, makes them very hard to bring in. You know. All right. They're just going nuts right now. Anytime I throw in, I'm gonna catch a fish. There was just a massive feeding frenzy, just a ton of them just going crazy. They're just everywhere. You can hear them, hear them going crazy underneath the culvert. Good fish, good fish. Dang it, it's like the same size. Little guy. Oh, look at him go. I can hear them and see them in here. Good thing is I can feel them right away. Oh, look at that. Chasing bait. Oh, God. Just loaded. Just loaded. Look at that. I think that was a tarpon. Oh. And they immediately jumped off. Yeah, those are tarpon busting right there. I don't know if that was my shrimp or not. So the problem with fishing this late is, oh God, there's big fish down here. The GoPro doesn't um, film well in the dark, so. This is a great spot. I'm getting hit. There's a lot of big fish in here, but I don't know how much footage I'm going to get. Tarpon. <laughs> God, bent my hook. I got you, buddy. I just want to get a good... Nice shot. All right. So I got to walk back to get the car. Shouldn't be too long, maybe 20 minutes. But man, it was definitely worth it. I cannot believe this video. I'm going to try not to walk into a hole or an alligator, but it's definitely worth it because I was just a snook feeding frenzy. It was insane. 
I landed a bunch and lost a bunch, hooked and landed my very first tarpon. Amazing. My dad fell in the water, but uh, he's all right. He's tough, but definitely worth the hassle at that place.